guys. This is inside the uh, inside there now. So where there's a pool to the right. So it pulls up here. And here's our puncture area the way they destroyed and took away the uh, columns we saw in part of the videos. Little looks like a little Honda generator. Maybe a clip hazard right there. But the uh, what you don't notice, you don't notice puncturing shear going through the floor here. I guess that's the uh, upstairs going up. I guess that might have been the ramp. These are uh, very interesting. Let me just 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 processing. As the building came down, it looks like it, or they start dem, you know, they demoed. We'll have to say that there was some some spalling there, and maybe some buckling with the steel as they demoed it, or it came down. You can see, well, this might be where they put charges in because that that metal looks like it's it's blown all scattered, all brain scattered brained here, 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 here. So this might be where they put the charges because you can see no concrete around there. Interesting. This one is inside the building yet, not not scatterbrained. Remember they demoed this, so um, they went at it. Okay, this is like a little coffer dam. Stop it. So over here must might be a floor drain. I think on this side, and this is what stops that water from going over. There's the pool. There's the hot tub. Hot tub looks in good condition, so is the pool, obviously. In fact, that's how they go up and down, right next to the hot uh, the tub. That's their entrance ramp, apparently, work, work and access. Little buggy. Okay, so what do we have here? I, well, we can, you know, the, when it, we had that image of the things falling down, the, uh, the uh, possibly part of the flooring. We just don't know when this was created. We just don't know. But I just want to show you this that we don't what we do know is we don't we're not looking at puncture shear where it punctures through the floor. Remember how I use the word punk and puncture? One's the ceiling, that's all that punk sheared up. And then punching shear I use as my down version going down through the floor. You guys get all triggered by that. It's okay. It's okay, my little my little technical meows. There's the uh, Surfside camera up here somewhere. People keep watching from Surfside. I guess there's nothing to watch anymore. Yep, and it's shortly. Stop them from falling in. Again, we're looking at a, you know, th this is where they scrape with their machinery, etc. You can see the scrapes on the floor, I believe. See a pretty good well, a, n a nice floor here. What you notice is that the concrete was poured around the columns. Hmm. I don't see any, any, uh, any cutouts, expansions, or etc. around these columns on the floor here. They just uh, butt it right up to it. I think in Florida, I guess you don't have to worry about the expansion down there. Now everybody's talking about this floods and all that. Well, where where is the where is that drain for the flooding? Obviously, they did a hell of a job cleaning up. They got that off to the right off to the bottom of the deck there. The concrete, it's all removed right to there, so you can see the steel. It's quite uh, it's quite uh, it's quite the amount of steel. And it's um, all about the same height development. You know they call it development. It's all about. Looks like it's all got the same development. Doesn't look like they shorted it. Shorted anything right here. They probably took just a sample and cut that. Cut that off. See, it's even off. So they they took some stuff on a truck we saw. That was probably good enough to take as a sample. A little nub over there. They tore the hell up. I mean, I I, I see a lot of steel here. I see a lot of steel. And this is where your pool deck was. Um, So is this the row right about there? That's the row, the fell row. Here, 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 here. 
we don't see the, the building. And then this row is the parking garage over to cars parked over to here. And then the person comes out to the porch right about there and sees only a few feet, he sees the cars go down. If we look at it relative to the real life now. Um, yeah, cars will be parked on the other side of this column. So right about to there as we proportion it a little bit. And then in the face there, and he had a seven foot porch, he came out and it's like, you know, it's like you could touch the cars, watching the cars go down. Uh, a lot of, uh, I don't know if that's electric cable or not. There's that BMA sitting over there. It's, they still got it lying out there. Interesting, you know, it's, it wasn't part of the initial collapse, but interesting is lying flat. So my guess took a shift, a shift, uh, and, and, and came off the columns and buckled it, whatever it did there. You really can't tell direction. There's anything about the directions rebar because of the, uh, the, this is what we cared about back here as initial, as initial witness statements. So, and they've already torn us to hell, like we said, so. There's nothing really you can tell about that besides it, it's got good development. We could look at this rebar again and count the pieces. This looks like four pieces folding over that way. It's clearly like more than four pieces. So we have the base developed with a lot of rebar, but then we get near the top where they turn and go into the floor and all of a sudden they get skimpy. Okay, so this is that wall that the one engineer wanted me to look at with the rebar reinforcement. But we're down here in the concrete now. Hmm. Of course, this is where the demo was. We got wire here tying in. It could be the wall system it tied in. or Oh, that's a parking garage too. Right, so there was flooring over there. I think cars parked under that section. There's rebar here, but some of this could just be standing up. Back here is where I want this the one place I would want to see to help verify or not verify. And we're not going to get there from here. Again, the lower part of this column coming out of the uh, underneath here is a, a big raft pad concrete. Um, we, get, we get tons of rebar coming out of there. Big sizes too, so I'm not sure what size, but we got substantial sizing. And amounts. He won two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, about 16 pieces at, at least. And it looks like that's repetitive. But then when they come here, when they go to that floor, the first floor height, it appears we get reduced down to, we go to 16 down to four. I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'd like to see it smashed open some more to see it, but. Could be wrong on that one. Uh huh. Again, no punch here through the floor, no micro sinkhole. So, all the you sinkhole freaks, and now you all got to eat that sinkhole thing, don't you? No micro sinkholes. You guys have this all flooding and causing, saying the thing drowned. You know, it, all that. So, now you can get rid of your drowned. Your drowned theory's got to be where the trash can. I'm coming up. Yep. And then, uh, oh wait, there's a sinkhole right there. And all the water is going down that hole. Look, you know, the way it is is power of a suggestion. Isn't that, did it work on somebody? Just a power suggestion. That's all it is. It's an amazing thing. Power suggestion also goes with um, the halo effect. The halo effect is, which I don't participate in, I don't participate in doing the halo effect. But, um, in other words, psyching you out by using uh, dressing nice and things like that. You look at the halo effect, you guys will see it. And it's a false illusion the person is nice just because they dress nice and they look nice. It's a halo effect. So our model, for example, we assume that she's a really nice person because she's an attractive person. Halo effect. We do not know her. We do not know her positions. It might be opposite to yours. So the halo effect, though, gets you going there. So just cleaning it up. 
throw it in the bucket. Down to the last bit. Oh, I could almost count the rebar in there. Almost. Again, um, no sinkholes. I guess that upset, is upsetting quite a few of you sinkhole uh, lobbyists. You guys lobby for sinkholes like crazy. Lobby for sinkholes like crazy with your with your uh, settlement too. Your two and two millimeters times twenty something years cause it to fail. It's settling. Wow, we look at this wall. I don't see settlement. I you know you, not only you got to get these columns settling, but you got to get the wall settling all together so you don't have all that craziness going on. But can't convince you guys of that. You got to give me all the technical terms you learned from some idiot on another channel that uh. It has, has put the halo effect over you. And so that's your stupidity. And you'll always fall victim to your own stupidity. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Again, no punching shear. Nothing going through the floor here. Beautiful. Beautiful data here. I'm going to look a little bit further in here again. Those are scratches from the ex excavator scratches, which they got to have the equipment out now. It's up top, it looks like, holding a, a pump to clean up the basin. Now, it's interesting how they, after they clean this up, they're going to wash it down, clean it up again. Everybody's talking about the water in there. Well, they kept the dust down with water. They used a lot of hoses. Um, and now, and now, and now, and now. That looks like electrical. Not rebar, because you don't see it um, there. But interesting enough, if you look at the spans, um, this is an interesting shape. Uh, the span is pretty, it appears pretty great from here to here, doesn't it? But that's it, that, that wasn't an issue, was it? And we have the span from here to here with gar cars. From here to here with cars. This is where the cars came down, right about thereabouts here. I can't, that would be these three little lovely ladies here, or two and a half. So it would be these ladies right here. I would think specifically these two, which they're destroyed now. The firemen were under, and we looked this direction between there um, and down towards the pool. We were on this side. One of these is red. I believe it had a red base. Now we can't even see that. Um, they did a great job of destroying destroying anything you might want to see. Now, they want to turn this into some type of memorial. Listen, the memorial of cheapness they should put out here because they were they didn't take care of their their uh the, you know you reap what you sow. All right, sorry, I'm insensitive. You know, you had your data, you ignored it. You you know you like up. Oh, you know what? Guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He's talking about money. All right. But it should have been shored up, I would think, like I showed you in the other one. That's my opinion. So it doesn't count for much. All right. So here's some interesting data. So that parking, that uh, spalling we saw on the driveway, um, it wasn't solid filled. You can see concretes here. So it wasn't solid fill. There was there was concrete all down here, and it looks like an end of the wall. Maybe you even had a doorway there, some storage perhaps. But there was a uh, a uh, a floor here, or a ramp that went down. And there's probably that two foot two that beam that I thought was pretty much on grade, but that two foot two beam detail. Hell, look how huge that monster is. That might be up here. That might be two foot two there. I don't know if it's down behind here or not. It's kind of just something in my brain right now. So again, we don't have any penetration through the floor. No penetration through the floor. We don't see any cracked walls. All your subsidence. We don't see the, the that happening here. Yes, the wall fell over at one time. Does it look fell, falling over now? So you can stop sending me your hurricane videos. Sorry for being insensitive about that. This wall is still here. This wall is still here. So a hurricane that happened, you know, and blew over some wall. 
doesn't doesn't count for much, does it? Um, doesn't count for much at this time. All right, there's a wall. That's the uh, well, not with the drain. Yeah, over here is where the the extra drain pipe was for the uh, overflow that they hit them up for. The municipality hit them hit them for. Again, no punching shear through there. We know that though. We saw the images of that of these columns. We could see with the firemen were there that it didn't go through. The punk shear happened around the uh, the the floor here. And again, the cars are parked here. The guy came out his door here. What the hell? We got a piece still here. Hmm. Well, that's of interest. Let me spin around. That's what's going on here. Freaking ramp is there. The ramp is there. I'm in the wrong building. I'm in the building they took down. I gotta go over more. Do I? Anyway, I don't care. I don't think I do. I think it's. I think that's the last one. Right there. Hmm. They cut that some bitch off even as hell. There it is, right there. Right there. That's the one that they were messing with, and they took a sample on the side. And now they cut it even. There it is. A little nub left. A nubbling. See if we can find it. There it is. A little nub. They cut it off with a saw. Zoom. Shows you didn't fracture at the bottom. Did not fracture at the bottom. They cut that thing beautifully even. There's a drain plug. You pull it out and the water goes down. Aha, there's the other post. So right about here then is the car. And our person lived above. What? You guys figure it out. They lived above our, 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 they lived to the, the ramp was right below them. So they lived over here. So the cars were here then. And they came out the door there. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm calling it quits. The more important thing on this data is there's no punching shear through the floor. Goodbye.